Hello, what's up, people? Dobbs Wars is right here, and welcome to another rank video. Well, the voting. You guys are surprising me every single time with these votes. And once again, I did not predict this. You guys want Call of Duty to be my next ranking video, from my least favourite to my most favourite. And to be honest, this one was super difficult because Call of Duty. It's like what everybody knows, it's a classic, everybody knows it most of the days, unless you're from old, the new, or even you just started doing gaming, everybody does really know what Call of Duty is. You guys, If you guys don't have a clue what, you, what it means, where have you guys have been living, I don't know, but pretty much Call of Duty is a war game, it's a shooter, it's a first person, you're shooting pretty much... The villains, whether they're, whether they're Germans in the World War Two, the Russians in the Cold War, the um, Russians again in other wars, and sometimes terrorists as well from um, Iraq and everything. So pretty much, Call of Duty has done a lot, a lot of things, and they have done over 17 games. And pretty much, I am going to go through the 17 ge 17 games that are the main games. I'm not talking about the spin-offs like you see on the PSPs. Or on the Nintendo DS's or anything like that. I'm talking about the main goal of the main games. But with Call of Duty, it was completely difficult because I always go for the five senses of gaming. So pretty, of course, I go for the story. How good's the story? Pretty much, aka the campaign. Number two, the look. Does it look like you're in an actual war like that? If you know what I mean. Does it look like what it supposed to be back in that time of time of decade? The controls. How how responsive are the controls when you're shooting it? Does it respond very well or does it lack anything about it? Like sprinting, crawling, shooting, meleeing. You know, you get the gist of it. But they're the three main ones. The other two are pretty much my side to side. Do I really think it's worth it or do I think it's not? The first one is the multiplayer, if there is. Because we already know some Call of Duty's don't have multiplayer. I'm talking about the very first ones. But with multiplayer, I'm mainly talking about the besides multiplayer. I'm not talking about team death matches or anything like that because I already know I am not a massive fan of the cup of the multiplayer because of one people and one people only. The camping bastards with the sniper rifle. They always win the games. It pisses me off because I can't win a game like that. I like running around shooting and stopping for a second then keep on moving. That's what a war game is. You don't do that in real life, god damn it. <laughs> but besides that as well, the side games. Now you may be thinking, what do you mean by side games? I'm talking about besides the multiplayer. So if there's anything else that was in it, like the arcade zombies, normal Nazi zombies, little bits like that. There is also other things as well, like the alien one, and then there was another one with, um, you're, like you're actually fighting the computer as um, particular army men, like there was in, uh, I think it was in Modern Warfare 3, there was something like that. So pretty much things like that, if you guys want to know. But they're the only two I'm pretty much, pretty much saying if I really do need them. Pretty much the story, the look and the controls is what I'm many I'm after. But besides that as well, I like I said, this is not this is all main games, so non-main games at all, so like there'll be no war zone, there's no mobile, etc. <laughs> now like I said, number 17 all the way up to 9 will go quite quick, and then number 8 all the way to number 1, I'll put in a bit more detail. So let's get this on the way. Number 17 is Ghost. Now, Ghost is my least favourite by far because the story, I did not like it. The look of it was okay. The controls, sometimes they didn't respond for my end of the stick. And that was including the PS3 version, the Xbox 360 version, and the PS4 version. But all three of them did not respond as much as I wanted it to, which is the biggest bummer. But to be honest though, the multiplayer was okay. Did not mind the multiplayer. The side games, I uh, really did not like the side games at all. Um, I'm, you know, like I said, the side games and everything is like things that are not team deathmatch or demolition, like the side things about it. Did not enjoy it as much at all. It's my least favourite. Number 16, Infinite Warfare. I freaking hate Infinite Warfare. Not as much as Ghost. Story, I couldn't even follow. I couldn't follow it whatsoever because Infinite Warfare felt like to me... A cheap knockoff of Call of Duty with jetpacks, boots, and freaking futuristic shit. I hated it. It still annoys me. If there's people out there that actually do like Infinite Warfare, props to you guys if you enjoy it. For me, I absolutely hate it. The look looked really good. The look did look good for a futuristic game, 
don't get me wrong. Controls, um, sometimes they did control well, sometimes it lacked. But the main thing about it though is that with the multiplayer, every time I was always playing multiplayer, I always got disconnected after about two to three games and it happened to me every single time playing it. I really hated it. So that's one of the main reasons. Side games was not really interested in them. They didn't find anything fun about them out whatsoever. So that's my number 16. Number 15, sadly, it's the originator, Call of Duty 1. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not terrible. This is pretty much now coming into, like, okay, the okay spots, okay? But still, it's still quite bad, okay? Story, it's pretty much, it's D-Day, it's World War, um, I feel remember it's World War 1. So, it's the finest hour, so it's pretty much... The beginning of the war and everything, like everybody's seen him in films like Saving Private Ryan, everybody gets the gist of this if this game. The look, yeah, for the very first Call of Duty game, yeah, very, very shitty. But remember, this was on the PS2 at its finest time. So if they were trying to get better at it, but by god, the controls was quite smooth to me. And I didn't think they were clunky at all. But my god, like I said, there's no multiplayer, so I had to drop that down a little bit. And same thing with side games, there's no side games at all. It's pretty much story, the look and the controls. Very good, very solid. Story was simple as anything. World War One. what can go wrong? Number 14, Advanced Warfare. Now, Advanced Warfare is, again, same thing for me as Infinite Warfare. Futuristic shit, I hate it. I really did not like the story. The look was fantastic, don't get me wrong. Look was amazing. Controls were smooth, really smooth, and the multiplayer, exactly the same as Infinite Warfare. Play about three to four games, I get kicked out. It pisses me off because I like to level up my weapons and get better at it in the game. It doesn't let me, and literally, I had it on two consoles, the Xbox and the PlayStation, and by God, it happened on both. I was freaking furious. I was getting really annoyed. It may have not worked. It may have not happened to you guys, but it has happened to me. Number 13, Black Ops 4. Now, Black Ops 4, story, couldn't get into it. Sadly to say, I love Black Ops, I really do, but Black Ops 4 was not my creme de la creme. It had a lot, a lot of potholes that, that really did not get filled. The story was atrocious. The look was quite good. The controls were smooth. The multiplayer, meaning... Pretty much is the multiplayer. It was pretty much the start off of uh, Warzone before Warzone was a thing. And did I like it? Absolutely not. It, it was that was the one th that was the, literally Black Ops 4 was the time when I thought Call of Duty was dead. And that was the last time I ever played Call of Duty until Beth and CJ got me back into it. And now I'm back on playing it. And still, I think Black Ops 4 is one of my pinnacle of one of my least favourite Call of Duty games. It's number 13 as well, though, because the side games, the zombies, actually saved it a little bit. The zombies were super, super fun. And if you guys haven't seen it, go and check out the live streams of me playing Black Ops 4 with CJ and Beth. Super funny. But anyhow, that's my number 13. Number 12 is Call of Duty 3, another original from PlayStation 2. And I think it got a small little remaster on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I'm not 100% sure. But by God, it was a quite a fun game. It was a good game. A good story. The look was nice. It, lo it looked like a war back in the day, if you look in the graphics. Controls was a main issue. Um, really did not, was not really responding very well for me. Shooting was good. Grenades was a massive no-go for me. And literally crawling was the most tedious thing ever because even when I'm crawling to stay away from a stay away from a bad guy, they still spot you out of nowhere. It's like what the hell? I am crawling under a bunch of bushes. You can't see me, but that's the thing for it. But also, Black Op, um Call of Duty Three was the very first Call of Duty that got multiplayer, and I do remember that multiplayer. Sally, yes, the servers are now down, but the the multiplayer of Call of Duty 3 was actually quite fun. There was no campers, there was nothing like that. People were just running and shooting like you normally would. And it was fun. I really did. Yes, it was clunky, but there was nothing else to say about it. Number 11, Modern Warfare 3, aka World War 3. Now, this game, it's whether people love it or they hate it. And to me, I think it was I think it was a good game. 
well, it was. It was. It really was a good game. Story was solid in my eyes. It was really solid. I enjoyed it. The look could have been better, and same thing for the controls. However, what saved it was the multiplayer and the side game when you're shooting random soldiers until they get stronger every single round. I enjoyed that a lot, and I remember playing that with my brother and a few of my other friends back when it first came out. And this was back on PlayStation 3 era. And holy shit, people, I pretty much played a lot of it. But really, though, the look and the controls really did let me down a lot because, oh, it could have been way better. There were a lot of people saying, what the hell are you talking about? The, the looks were great, but to me, I don't think they were crisp enough for, for that type of game in that type of year. And then, like I said, I'm looking through them as the at that year. I'm not looking at it as now, okay? Just let you guys know that. Number 10, Modern Warfare. I am not talking about the original, I am talking about the new one, the last New, the second to the new one, the not, not Cold War, the one before it. That Modern Warfare story, solid, really, really good. It's pretty much is the remake of Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 1, you know, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Uh, the look was solid, the controls were solid, multiplayer, I freaking hate. I really hate. And like I said, side games, there's not really any side games, unless you want to call Warzone, but I don't call it, I'm not taking that. I hated the multiplayer, it was cheap, it was sh shocking, a lot of people say they agree that it was not a good not good multiplayer, but the main thing for me is because the camping was at its full potential. No one was running around, everybody was sitting, st sitting still, literally looking at their scope, seeing somebody, pop, look at another one, pop, look at another one, pop, I hate camping bastards and if you guys are a camper shame on you be a actual soldier and run around and shoot people don't go ahead and sit down like a camper and shoot somebody with a snook scope so far away that nobody cannot see you come on be an actual player don't be a cheater so that's my number 10 <laughs> but now we're getting into the great stuff pretty much number nine black ops 3 now same thing black ops 3 story Wishy-washy in my eyes. The controls, the looks, spot on. Really did like them. I really did enjoy them. The side games, the zombies, solid. Very good. Solid as a rock. Really, really enjoyed them. Multiplayer was another thing. Um, it was at that moment when camping was starting to be abolished. But you still had them particular groups of that particular circle that always was in a particular match. And my god, when you do have one, it's annoying. And I'm not talking about sniping scopers. I am talking about freaking RPG... Um, um, RPG... Um, um, fucking hell, I forgot the word now. Um, RPG campers and LMG campers... They were the worst, literally. If you have an LMG with an actual scope and a miraculous, awesome mobility and control with the aim, you've literally got a full force heading your way because they were horrible on you. They literally killed you in seconds and I hated it. So that's pretty much my number nine. Number eight... Cold War. Now, even though it is the newest one, a lot of people think this would be up high. To be honest, I... I'm the, first of all, I'll tell you the good things about it. Zombies. Mwah, beautiful. Multiplayer. Great when there's no campers. To be honest, there's not a lot of campers nowadays, but when there is, I hate it, but when there isn't, it's great and it's fun. Controls. Smooth. The look. Smooth. The story. What a disappointment. I know what they were trying to do, but some things that were going into that game, and when I saw them, like the numbers, that was a bit of a homage to Victor Fresnov and Mason, they didn't do anything to it. He just had, we saw the numbers and then that was it. I know you can have three endings, and I've done all three endings, and do I find them quite shocking or quite fun? No. They were just anticlimactic. I was thinking, oh my god, that was such a bad ending. The, some of the missions were great, don't get me wrong. Some of the missions were fantastic. But the story was so freaking boring. I did not enjoy the, the campaign whatsoever. Um, 
It's like Bell. Bell is your, your, is yourself. I was like, what the fuck was this story? It was weird. I couldn't follow it as much. It was the biggest letdown for me because besides that, you had to download the campaign on its own. As much as you downloaded the game on disc, you had to download the campaign on its own. That was even more storage. And that was a massive problem for me because I don't like storing things for so much. I delete it and keep on going. So pretty much when I finished the campaign, I instantly deleted it and never played it ever since. And so pretty much right nowadays, I'm playing mostly zombies or multiplayer. Mostly zombies. If you wanna, if you guys want to play with me on zombies, let me know. You guys know where, I'm, where I'll be. <laughs> Number seven. World at War. World at War is the pinnacle of zombies. It was the originator. It's where everything all started to be to make Call of Duty freaking awesome. And yeah, I freaking love it. Story, solid. It was pretty much the wars in Japan. You know, you're facing the Japanese, you're facing the Chinese, literally the Germans. And plus it was the start of uh, my favourite count of all time. Victor Vreznov when he was in Germany in the heart of it and you're literally playing as his fellow war friend helping each other to get to beat the Nazis it was fantastic the story the look it looked like World War 2 it really did it was phenomenal controls phenomenal multiplayer could have been better definitely could have been better than multiplayer um, the servers are still going on and there is still people playing it if you guys want to know. And there is people playing it. I actually play it sometimes if I'm really, really bored. And side, side games, zombies, heck a lot of fun. Standard, it's simple. A mystery box, a few doors. What's not to hate? It's easy. Next up, number six. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The original. Now, story. Like I said, just the same thing as Modern Warfare. The remake. Fantastic. The look was fantastic. The controls were fantastic. The multiplayer was so much better. And again, side games, there weren't really any side games unless you add the other little tiny games that you can have in Modern Warfare. The controls and the multiplayer was like a godsend from Earth. It was so smooth and fluent and even if you make a mistake, it's mainly not the controls fault, it's mainly your fault, it was your misjudgment. The controls in that I've done playing multiplayer worked like a dream and I really loved it. It's like, you can't mess with me when I've got Ninja, Scavenger and oh my god, you couldn't mess with me. It was such a great experience for me playing that game and I can't wait to play it again when I get a chance. <laughs> Number 15, Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2 is, to be honest, is my favourite Modern Warfare game. And there's nothing else to say about it. It's pretty much story was amazing. Jaw dropping at the end. It was awesome. The, the ending was fantastic. The look was great. The controls were great. Multiplayer was a freaking godsend. It was sick. It was amazing. It was fun. It was energetic. There was hardly any cheaters. Oh, it was such a great experience of playing that game. And the side game, well, pretty much for the side game, I'm going to talk about the epilogue of the campaign where you can try out every single weapon and click the special red button in the museum when all the enemies come in and attack you. That is sick. I love that. That was like a side thing to do whenever you're bored. I loved it. Number four, World War Two. Now, this was literally my last Call of Duty game I ever played properly. Besides, I start myself getting myself back into Call of Duty because anytime you saw me a few years back, I was always playing World War Two until Beth came into the channel and CJ. That's when I started moving on to different different Call of Duties. Story, World War Two. You can't go wrong. It's amazing. Now a lot of people say, "Girl, oh, World War Two is overrated." It's the war. Every everybody knows about the war, but listen, there's so many other parts of the war that a lot of people do not know, and World War Two gave it to us. Now, if you look at the old newspapers and the old um, diaries of people who were creating this game, they were actually interviewing actual war veterans of World War II and telling them what was their experiences, and they put that in that game. I love that. That was fantastic. The look like it looked like World War II. It felt like World War II. The controls were spot on. Multiplayer was fun. I loved the multiplayer. That's why I was on it all day long when I was playing it. Side stories. Yeah, the side things can be a bit tedious, but I enjoy it. Number three, 
was always my favourite until the new ones came out. Call of Duty 2, the big red one. And I freaking love Call of Duty 2. It was always my favourite until the next two, the, until 2 and 1 came up. Story, I loved it. Look, loved it. The controls, loved it. Multiplayer, there was no multiplayer and there was no side stories. That's all it was. It, everything was perfect to the T for Call of Duty 2. And if you guys have not played Call of Duty 2 on the PlayStation 2, definitely have a go on it. I love it. And I think they got a remaster of the Game of the Year edition on the Xbox 360. If you guys can find that, give it a go. It's a lot of fun. Now that leads me to number two. Black Ops 2. Now, Black Ops 2, oh my god, what mi what literally, what just made it not get there? Mainly because, 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 because of transit. Oh god, I hate transit. That was the main reason why it's number two, not number one. If transit was not in it and they replaced it with something else, it could have been my number one. It really could have been. Um, the story, amazing. The look was amazing. Control was amazing. Multiplayer was smooth and it was awesome. Zombies was great besides Transit. I hated Transit. Moon was fun. Uh, Nuketown was fun. It was literally nothing you can go wrong. And also, the ending of Black Ops 2 was super awesome. Arch, um, Arcane Sevenfold singing Carry On was freaking amazing. And if you guys want to do as well, check out my lip syncing video of me, sing, of me, of me doing um, Carry On from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Definitely check it out. It's awesome. But that leads off with number one. It's been always been my favourite since it got released. Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Oh, fuck yeah, that was good. And I still love it to this day. I'll still play it. And the servers are still going on, so I'm happy. The zombie maps were amazing. Love every single one of them. It was the only Call of Duty zombie game that I got the DLC for everything. Oh my god, it was sick! And then, of course, the multiplayer was fun. Oh, it was super fun. And less cheaters as well. The worst, the cheaters were starting to come in through. But not enough to really get you annoyed. Story. There was only one thing about that story. Victor Fresnov and freaking... Mason Woods. Oh my god, it was amazing. It's like the that one scene, that one scene that literally gives me goosebumps every time when he's punching Krachenko or Steino, wherever the, the other two, wherever the whatever the villain was called again. And he says, My name is Victor Fresno, and I will have my revenge! Bang! And he freaking shoots him right there. That was like Oh my god, that was sick! It was the best anticlimactic. It was just literally, I knew it was gonna happen, but the way it was going on was awesome because you could see it was literally going through the two eyes of two people. One person trying to stop Mason and Fresnov, or the eyes of Mason watching Fresnov do it. It was sick. I loved it. Hopefully, you guys have not played it. If you guys have not played it, definitely give it a go because it's absolutely phenomenal. And like I said as well, the looks and the controls were spot on. But that story took my breath away and I love it to this day. But there's one thing left though, people. What is your favourite Call of Duty and what is your least? Have you played them all? Let me know. But I'd really like to know though, what is your favourite Call of Duty game and what is your least? Please tell me why because I like to read your comments like always. If you haven't done it yet, don't make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below like I said, and hit the bell icon to get yourself notified when we're uploading and live streaming. With that being said, the people on this loop go see you guys for subscribing, and also check out the poll for the next voting. Because the next voting will be either between Pokemon, Resident Evil, or Assassin's Creed the main games. See you then. Cheerio!